Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Geography with Joy. This is Subha Lakshmi and we are discussing about the soil groups of India. Today we are going to learn about black soil in India and it will be an interesting topic again. Please subscribe my channel and like and share my video. It will help me to grow and serve you better. Let's start the class now. Black soil and the outline of the class is introduction, characteristics of black soil, color, texture and composition, types of black soil, crops grown, areas and states where black soil is found and at the end map pointing. Let's learn about this topic in detail now. Black soil. Black soil is black in color and is also called as ragar soil. It is taken from a Telugu word ragada meaning rich loam soil of India. It is called as black cotton soil as cotton is the most grown crop in this soil. This soil is formed in C2 that is it is formed where it is found. So it is also called as residual soil. Since it is formed by the denudation of volcanic rocks, it is also known as lava soil. This soil has originated from the solidification of basic lava spread over large areas of Deccan Plateau during volcanic activity. Therefore, it is essentially formed by the weathering of Deccan Trap. It is spread over an area of 5.4 lakh square kilometer, that is around 16.6% .6 of the total land area of the country. Have a look at the picture. This is black soil where the wheat crops are grown. You can see the seedlings of wheat crops are grown in rows. Black soil is mineral soil which has black surface horizon and rich to wheat organic carbon that is at least 25 centimeter deep. Two categories of black soils are recognized. The categories are distinguished to recognize the higher value and thus greater need for protection of some soil that is category 1 while still including a wider range of soil within the overall black soil definition that is category 2. First category black soil is the most vulnerable and endangered one which needs the highest rate of protection at a global level. On the other hand second category black soil is mostly endangered at the national level. Due to the high clay content, black soil develops white cracks during the dry season. But its iron rich granular structure makes it resistant to wind and water erosion. It is poor in humus yet is highly moisture retentive and thus responding well to irrigation. Now let's talk about the characteristics of black soil. It is fine in texture and clayey in nature. It has high quantities of lime, iron, magnesium and generally poor percentage of phosphorus, nitrogen and organic matter. It is black in color 
as it is formed from weathered lava rocks. It is very clay and therefore highly moisture retentive. Because of high clay content, this soil expands when wet and becomes difficult to plow. During the dry season, the black soil shrinks and develops big cracks which help in air circulation. The soil is very fertile in most of the places. It is suitable for cultivation of cotton, jawar, wheat, sugarcane, linseed and gram. In any season, it has moisture stored in its subsoil. It is self-plowing and is comparatively less fertile on the uplands than on the lowlands. Structure of this soil is cloddish or occasionally friable. In some valleys like Narmada and Tapti, the soil is 6 meters deep. Color, texture and composition. Black soil varies in color from deep black to chestnut brown, medium black or even mixture of red and black. The black color may be observed from black crystalline chest and basic knees. It is fine grained in texture with more than 60% clay. It doesn't contain gravel or sand. Black soil contains lime, alumina, iron, potash, magnesium carbonates and calcium. It is deficient in phosphates, nitrogen and humus or organic matter. A typical black soil is highly argillaceous that is clay with a large clay factor around 62% or more without gravel or coarse sand. It also contains 10% of alumina, 9 to 10% of iron oxide and 6 to 8% of lime and magnesium carbonates. Potash is variable. It is less than 0.5% and phosphates, nitrogen and humus are low. The structure is cloddish but occasionally friable. Types of black soil. On the basis of thickness of layers, black soil is classified into three subgroups. They are shallow black soil, medium black soil and deep black soil. Shallow black soil is found with thickness which is less than 30 cm. It exists in Satpura Hills in Madhya Pradesh, Nagpur and Satara in Maharashtra and Bijapur and Gulbarga districts in Karnataka. This type of soil is suitable for the crops like jawar, rice, wheat, gram and cotton. Medium black soil which thickness ranges between 30 to 100 cm. It covers a larger area in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh. The third category is deep black soil which thickness is more than 1 meter. It covers large areas in lowland zones of the peninsular India. The clay content is in between 40 to 60 percent. Its reaction is alkaline. The soil is fertile and suitable for crops of cotton, sugarcane, 
fruits, vegetables, etc. Now, let's talk about the crops grown on black soil. Black soil is dark and has very high content of clay and has a very high moisture retentive capacity. It becomes very hard on drying and sticky on wetting. Hence, it is difficult to cultivate and manage. This soil covers an area of about 74 million hectare, mostly in the central, western and southern states of India. It is inherently fertile. Under rain-fed conditions, it is used for growing cotton, millets, soybean, sorghum, peas and peas, etc. Under irrigated conditions, it can be used for a variety of other crops which include sugarcane, wheat, tobacco and citrus fruits. In short, we can say that due to their high fertility and moisture retentivity, black soil is widely used for several important crops like cotton, rice, wheat, jawar, millets, sugarcane, Virginia tobacco, oil seeds like linseed and sunflower, and fruits and vegetables. The moisture retentivity of black soil makes it suitable for dry farming. Areas and states. First, let's see the areas where black soil is found. Black soil is primarily a sedentary soil. It is largely found in the region of their origin. It is an in situ soil. It is vastly confined to the Deccan Plateau. Coming to the states, and the states are Maharashtra, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Southern Uttar Pradesh, Western Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Southern Districts of Tamil Nadu, and Karnataka. Have a look at the map now. Black color is used to show the areas of black soil and it is mostly confined to the Deccan trap. Black soil is the derivative of trap lava and is spread mostly across interior Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka and Madhya Pradesh on the Deccan lava plateau and the Malwa plateau where there is both moderate rainfall and underlying basaltic rock. You can take it as a snapshot for your reference for map pointing. That's all for today. I hope you have understood and enjoyed my video. In my next video, we will discuss about the red soil and lead red soil. Stay connected. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like and share my video. Thanks for watching. See you again. Till then, bye bye and have a good day.